So hello, um, I have for you today a parchment paper cutter, diamond painting cutter, um, ceramic pen cutter, whatever you want to call it. Um, on the actual product it refers to as ceramic pen cutter, but as you can see on this description it says parchment paper cutter for diamond painting. I suspect this has other uses. Um, so what this basically is, it's a little safe cutter. Um, perhaps suitable for children we don't want to give them perhaps a, a sharp blade um, and this is designed for cutting um, and it will cut um, in terms of diamond painting it should cut the paper um, but it won't cut the uh, cut through the canvas below um, so this is 9.99 US dollars um, that's the price at the time of review the prices on AliExpress do seem to change um, sometimes on a daily basis and uh, shipping is free shipping to the United Kingdom estimated delivery 20 to 40 days um, so as you can have a little closer look at the blade you see there's a little tiny notch coming out of there and that's ob obviously the cutting edge um, now it says it's not easy to hurt hands and safe to use um, now I like to test things to the limit um, but I will not be testing that against my finger. Um, I'm not prepared to put myself into any harm. Um, but I would say it probably won't cut you. But don't don't try it. And then there we we can see some other pictures there um, of it cutting. And it comes in white, pink. Well, that's a very hot pink, isn't it? And green. Um, I went a little bit boring and I ordered the white one so let's have a quick look at the description features cutting a parchment paper ceramic blade it is sharp and cuts the cover perfectly it doesn't damage the canvas um, it's 133 millimeters long and it's one piece packaging and there's some pictures of it in action pretty much the pictures that we saw just earlier now that looks rather useful actually if you got some sticker paper and cut stickers out that looks quite useful to cut them out um, so and there they're doing the sensible thing they're always using a cutting mat which is a very sensible thing to do um, so some reviews it's got a three star rating a four star lots of five star ratings overall rating of 4.9 uh, very good quality very fast received in 10 days um, cannot wait to use it I don't like reviews like this because they've clearly not actually used the product how can you review a product you haven't used um, this one is a valid one for me it's the second one I've bought they are brilliant um, it works great and then it's a foreign one um, so yep yeah, I got my pen cut, I will not try it yet, will be soon. Um, so, yeah, that looks a really useful product. So, this is the product, which, um, I do you know what, now when I've ordered from AliExpress, um, it's very rare that you get them in less than three weeks, um, 30 days is more common. Um, but you're not going to believe me when I say this six days this took to arrive six days from China to the US and that's the mid that's in the middle of um, middle of a pandemic when you're expecting slow delivery on everything um, had this taken more than 20 to 30 days I wouldn't actually have complained given the circumstances um, so this is almost entirely in Chinese so I'm not going to attempt to read it um, it's got a picture there the only words of English is there ceramic pen cutter um, so unfortunately from that sense you can't read the instructions but let's have a look at the actual item and I'm going to give this um, a few tests so this is the pen and it feels just like any normal pen and 
Oh, that feels rather sharp on the end. I've just, I've just tested its sharpness in the same way that I would a kitchen knife. Um, I haven't actually cut my finger, but if you don't do this at home, but if you rub it sideways on something, you can feel the amount of grab. So that's actually quite sharp. So as I say, it operates exactly like a pen, so that I'm really happy with. So I have got some scrap bits of paper. Um, these are just pieces of paper that I've just done some printing on. Um, so they're scrap for me. And I've just got to be careful, I've got a line. And then, so apparently all we do, this is the first time I've used this, guys. Wow. Wow. So that is a single piece of paper. So let's see how it copes with two. Well, it's, it's cut that first one straight through, but it's not cut the, uh, it's not cut that fully. So let's see what happens if we give it a light cut and then a heavy, heavy pull. So that's light. And that, oh, look at that. That's as expected. That's not even touched that piece of paper. So let's see how hard I can do it. Yeah, so I think this cutting uh, effect is uh, is determined by how hard you press. Um, I just literally, if you just literally run it over using just a light pressure, you actually get a good cut. Well, that one's not too good. Um, but you see this one is not tough. So I'm going to see by... Um, pressing quite hard see how many pieces of paper I can cut through so there's one there's two mm, it struggled with four because it was trying to rip those pieces of paper but it's not cut through all of them so I would say maximum depth if you push really hard um, is about one two three about three pieces of paper um, but as you can see from here um, I think it's going to take a little bit of practice to use but if you just run it fairly light you can you see that was a little bit too heavy um, but with practice see it cuts that one but it hasn't touched this one so yeah on that one it's um it's really really good i'm really happy with that however we have not bought this to cut pieces of paper so shall we cut some diamond paintings um, so I have two kinds of diamond painting that I want to cut up. Um, this one is, um, I'm really pushing this to the test because this is a really good one. This is my um, little puppy looking in, in the puddle and seeing a fox, uh, seeing a wolf. So what I like to do is I like to cut my squares up so that I can just work on one square at a time. So let's see how well this copes. So let's run that across there like so. And wow, look at that. That is such a nice clean cut. So what I'm looking at is if it's damaged the glue in any way. And it has actually cut through the glue. It scored a line in the glue. I don't know if you can see it there, but it hasn't cut through the canvas. Um, so in that sense, it's done the job absolutely perfect. Maybe this is the first time I've used this, so maybe I've pressed a little bit too hard. So shall we do another one with just a lighter press? Oops, I've gone off at an angle then. So I find it very hard to control the direction it tends to want to go off in its own direction so I am using it with a ruler and I'm aiming it slightly towards the ruler so the ruler guides it 
so this is a lighter a lighter cut and wow wow I am really super impressed with this and I can't get this up there we go so it has sliced it which it's it's not really cut the glue you can see it's made a mark but obviously once you've done your diamond you put your drills on there it's not going to make a difference so let's see what happens when I cut that across um, because obviously I've cut across there I now want to cut my squares let's see if it causes a problem when it crosses over the lines yeah it's got a little bit of drag to it but look at that that's a really nice cut I am super happy with that so um, it's a little bit pricey at 10 well for me because I bought it in dollars there's a there's a currency conversion to go through but let's say it costs 10 pounds compared to a pen that costs a couple of quid um, I actually used my knife of choice is this um, Swan Swan Morton is it called the handle is five pounds and I buy the blades in bulk and I tend to change the blade every week um, so it, it costs me about 20p a blade so this is actually more expensive than this but this blade is a super sharp one I don't use it just for diamond painting um, but this will cut through plastic and, and in some cases metal with ease um, this is the actual blade they will use uh, surgeons will actually use these blades for doing actual real life operations um, so that gives you an idea of its ability to cut through skin um, so that is very very dangerous in the wrong hands this I feel is a nice I would perhaps trust my kids with this and when I say kids I mean like small kids so the next test for me um, now these poured glue ones <coughs> I struggle to see them um, so normally what I would do is I would put a bit of masking tape over them so I am going to do this and this isn't the masking tape I would generally use um, this is far too expensive to waste in this way um, I would normally just use a cheap roll of um, just basic uh, masking tape from the DIY store I know some people like to use washi tape um, I'm I'm a little bit what's the word I'm looking for thrifty so this will actually be a bigger test because I need to cut through two layers without cutting through the canvas um, now I am taking a big chance here because I could end up cutting through the canvas which I don't want to do and that's gone off at an angle that's my fault not the pens so wow that's perfect look at that and remember that's that's four layers in some places and three in others um, because it's only a partial there's there isn't glue all over the place so as you can see it's not come through the back of the canvas um, so shall we do a cross cut see because now I've used this masking tape to try this out I'm gonna have to use this masking tape for the whole diamond painting aren't I so I found this a little bit hard to control um, on this particular one whether that was the way I was holding it um, you do have to kind of twist it quite hard to keep it against the ruler um, yes I am very very happy with that um, so now I have squares that I can see um, I know where to pull the, the see I can't see that you see um, so I have to kind of feel for it um, but yeah that's that's really good 
I am super impressed with this pen so there you go guys that is a ceramic pen um, if costs are low then get yourself a basic what they call an exacto uh, blade you can pick them up um, I think you can pick them up five or ten for a pound from the uh, the cheapy stores I personally use this one um, I use this for safety reasons because this particular one is weighted um, so if I should hold it like that and I'm standing up perhaps and I dropped it on the floor because of the weight of it it would actually fall butt end first so if it landed on my foot it's more likely to land like that than it is to land like that um, but this is super safe because not only is it light if you drop it it won't gather much much momentum but also as you can see there guys it's not gonna even if it lands on the pointy end it's not gonna hurt me um, so I don't like to use 10 out of 10 rate or out of 10 ratings but I cannot find fault with this pen guys this is absolutely superb um, so yeah it's some kind of five star for me um, I can't even criticize it on the delivery time um, Aliexpress generally sends within within 30 days but they usually are closer to the 30 days but um, yeah I've scribbled down on my notes six days um, so yeah really really happy with that guys so thank you for watching um, I hope you carry on watching um, I d will you notice I've actually got this one out to cut up um, this will probably be me my next video where I'm actually in the process of doing a review on this um, so what I've got to do is um, whew, I've got to take these off now and pretend I haven't cut them never mind right guys so I'll see I hope to catch you again and if you like this video give it a like if you dislike it just give it a dislike um, if you haven't already uh, please subscribe and hit that bell icon um, so you can catch all my videos when I release them um, so take care guys thank you for watching